What's up YouTube, it's CBD Delta Flyer here and I have another unboxing today. It's another Phoenix model. Uh I'll have I'll be having a couple Phoenix models coming unboxing wise. And this one's gonna be on the South African A340 600. And let me just say this plane is huge in its length. Uh this plane was actually the longest plane in the world before the 747-8 came along, and I don't have a model of that, so I can't really make a comparison. I can't imagine how long that is. So, I mean, I don't think it's much bigger, but I guess it is bigger than the A340-600. And this is, between this and the A340-300, those are the really only the A340s I like. I don't really care. And there's some A3, A340-300s that I like, I like. I mean, not all of them. I don't really care for the 500, though. It's not the, I don't think it's that pretty, but... Let's get started with this particular model anyways. This box is very colorful, very unique, like all Phoenix models boxes. Every single one of them is different. They're all unique in their own way. They all resemble the airline, the country that they're from, and everything in that matter, which is really cool what I think they do. But anyways, it says Airbus A340-600. Then you have the South African A340-600, and it says South African in the registration which is Z S S N E and that's the front of the box on the box you got limited edition South African I mean these boxes are really pretty they're my favorite I love them uh, and then here's South African all that good stuff the box all of that and then here's the plane I mean this thing's huge that's how it's just huge and lengthwise. It's got a lot of good detail to it also. Up front you have the good cockpit window detail. You got windshield wipers as you can see. Nose cone detail. The Star Alliance logo right in front of the first door. Left door number one. Then the rolling gear does the roll. So meaning it does have amazing landing gear detail if you can't see it and it reads SNE on the landing gear awesome detail on it though I mean Phoenix models has the best landing gear detail too then South African uh, titles over first class and one satellite bump up front moving down the uh, plane you have left door number two I'm I think they may board from this door too every now and then I'm not for sure but and then you have your overwing exit emergency door, red lantern light on top, and satellite bump space. Well, where a satellite would be, it's just an outline, it's not a bump or anything. And then you have the Trent 500s, great looking engines, good detail on them. They even have the little slits right here, I guess you could call them, um, right there. Yeah, right there, if you can see them. But great engine detail here's the bottom here's the engine detail and the underbelly of the plane you can see the rolling landing gear and the landing gear configuration this wheels just a little bit bent better than that great looking plane then up top great flaps and slats detail on the plane let it focus there it goes you can see great flaps and slats detail then you have the Airbus winglets, and it has South African's logo on it, on the winglet, or whatever they call them. Then you have another emergency exit door, uh, about three-fourths of the way through the plane. And then at the very end, you have South African flag, the registration, which is Z-S-S-N-E. And then it says A340-600, if you can't tell, right there. Then you have the last exit door. Then you have the very colorful South African flag. It's blue, green, gold, black, white, red. So, very unique tail. Very unique plane, also. This plane's a monster overall, though. I mean, this thing's huge. I can't stress how big it is. I thought the 777-300 would be long. But this thing's... I'm going to get another A3 Phoenix A34600. I'm going to get the China Eastern and I'm looking for a Lufthansa one. Probably going to get one off of eBay. I just like this plane a lot. 
and then on the right side of the plane you have pretty much the same thing, the tail, uh, A340-600, the registration and the South African flag, but then on this side you have the cargo door, back door, emergency overwing exit door, good detail on that, then again great flaps and slats detail, great engine detail, let me bring this up here for now so you can get a good under look of the plane, and the engine detail, here that is in the winglets, uh, so great detail on that. Very pretty, colorful plane. It's a clean plane. Phoenix Models, I think, does a little bit more with their paints and everything, making the plane look nice, clean, and detailed. And then moving down, you have South African again over first class. But on this side, again, like I said, your cargo door. If you can see, good detail there, good outlines of it. Satellite bump and then star lines and great cockpit detail, door detail again. And everything then under the plane you have let me try and hold this kind of hard to hold all right uh look at that and the gear detail just look at that gear or er, doors all that detail on this plane this thing looks absolutely amazing the registration i mean phoenix models doesn't co cut a corner short on their planes these things are so highly detailed and so great looking. I absolutely love them. And here I'll give you guys a front view of the plane. You can see the great looking 40 wing, how they're bent. There it is. Great looking plane. I recommend this if you like the A340 600 or if you like the A3, or, uh, South African livery. It's a great looking plane. Awesome to have. I like it a lot. I'm glad I have it. And that's been the second unboxing of the day. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Just rate, comment, subscribe.